With the mission of the space shuttle now complete, the orbiter begins the journey back home to Florida. Dropping from orbit for an hour-long flight to Kennedy Space Center, the trip home is a quick one. Long before the deorbit burn begins, the remaining members of the NASA space flight team return to KSC where they are bused to the center's shuttle landing facility. It is here at the SLF that they first welcomed the crew to the space center just over weeks before. Now they will welcome them home again, but this time with a safe and successful mission behind them. While waiting for the orbiter to return, the team takes up positions on the SLF's control tower just northeast of the midfield point of the three-mile-long landing strip. From here, they will be able to see the final approach of the orbiter. And while the actual touchdown will be obscured by the Florida brush, the rollout of the vehicle will be fully visible. With the shuttle quickly closing in on KSC, members of the press turn their eyes to the sky, eagerly awaiting any sign of the returning spacecraft. But well before they can sight the vehicle, they are greeted by the telltale twin sonic booms, marking the point at which the orbiter drops below the speed of sound and heralding the arrival of the spacecraft in the skies above the space center. Shortly after, the shuttle becomes visible to the gathered crowd as she lines up with the runway. Quickly but smoothly descending through the clear Florida sky, the orbiter makes a silent approach to the 15,000-foot runway below. Members of the press standing by begin snapping photos and videos as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Like launch, they only have one chance. The shuttle won't be making another pass. As the orbiter touches down, cameras zoom tight to catch the final moments of the vehicle's nose in the air and the deployment of the ship's drag chute. The nose gear touches down just as the spacecraft rolls through the midfield in full view of the press. While the shuttle will again be partially obscured by the brush at the end of the field, the rollout and eventual wheel stop of the orbiter remains in view. With the orbiter now safely home on terra firma at KSC, the mission of the space shuttle is complete. However, the mission is not officially over just yet. One final event will signal the completion of the NASA space flight team's work for this flight. It takes several hours to safe an orbiter once the vehicle is landed. The crew must disembark and the spacecraft must be drained of her remaining toxic propellants. With these tasks accomplished, the dedicated team of KSC technicians begins the process of towing the shuttle back to her Space Age Garage or OPF, a short distance away for final end of mission processing. The vehicle is towed along a special roadway built just for this purpose. Branching off the southeast end of the runway, the towway is a wide section of road that connects with the main route along the KSC property and leads to the lot north of the VAB where the OPFs are stationed. As the shuttle convoy slowly makes its way down the towway, cameras are running in preparation for the up-close pass of the orbiter. Here at this intersection between runway and roadway, the media team gathers for the closest documentation of the orbiter since the vehicle's rollover to the VAB from her OPF bay several months earlier. While the shuttle herself remains silent, the humming fans and equipment from the convoy make for a special parade as the vehicles proceed toward the OPF. But the event isn't over just yet. Once the orbiter convoy has passed the team on the towway, members of the press are bussed over to the OPF lot, where they will be stationed just outside the OPF bay for the final entry of the orbiter into her hangar. From here, they are able to gather final images of the orbiter before she is powered down, either in preparation for processing for her next flight or for decommissioning with the end of the program rapidly approaching. Either way, it is a somber moment for the teams who have gathered to witness the event.